Good day and welcome to Sucker for Love. So this game is about trying to fall in love like a dating sim, but the catch is it's with a lovely eldritch horror. So this is actually the second game in the series. I have never actually personally played them, but I did watch them on YouTube a while ago when they came out. This game looks phenomenal, looks like a lot of fun. It boasts that all, all this is hand-drawn, so I'm very excited for it, it looks beautiful. And I know this game's gonna be kind of weird and kooky, but it's something I wanna try, and hopefully you guys stick along for the ride and the journey. With that being said, let's go ahead, jump on in, and see if we are a sucker for love. A oh. The one. Okay, that's a cool chapter name. A thousand versus the one. Eldritch Gods. Cosmic Oh, there's actually full voice acting. Things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. Ooh, that's that's a cool they line. They are sequestered to the stars, appearing only through challenging, failure-prone rituals uh -huh. and unutterable incantations. Oh, I'm a utter those incantations flawlessly. Their twisted fanatical followers require no such invitation to commit horrors beyond belief in their sin. People do like committing horrors beyond their belief for a god. It is then when the boogeyman lurking in the shadows is in an obscure, imperceptible shade, but a tangible madman. Ooh, this, these lines are That the vague good. prognostications of the stars become empty threats before the undeniably material. The simple hatchet in their hands. <laughs> wow, that got real dark. Oh, did I just get killed? Did something scary happen? Oh, what? what? Huh? In the book you're reading, did something scary happen? You're as pale as a sheet. Uh, just a strange dream is all. I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Oh. Sorry, this might sound like a sh sound strange, but... Can you tell me where I am? You're in my bookstore in Sacramento. Sacramento. Oh no, I think I know where I am now. Thanks. I've been having odd dreams lately, waking in strange places with no memory of how I got there. It started around the same time folks began vanishing from my hometown, Sacramento. Des Despite the small size of this backwards town, dozens have gone missing this past year. So many that the trains won't even stop here now. Where, where are the train tracks? I don't see no train tracks. Worried locals say they spot angry spirits growling in the woods. Animals with too many features watching. Outsiders can't shake the feeling of being watched by the town folks' blink, unblinking purple eyes. The Sacramento Stare, they call it. Um, have you made a selection? Did you find a book to your liking? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep you here late on my account. No, no, it's fine. I'm glad that you enjoyed reading my books, but it's starting to get dark outside. With all the disappearances lately, you better hurry home. Home. My family fled this place long ago when the disappearances started, but a letter imploring me to come visit appeared in my apartment earlier this week. Hey, Stardust. Mom's still pretty shaken up about everything, so I'm taking care of her at Graham's place. If you came by for a visit, I know it'd cheer her right up and help her feel better. We miss you like crazy. This is definitely my father's handwriting. Only my parents call me Stardust. Impossible. Mom, Dad, I know you're not really waiting for me. You've been gone for over a year, but whoever sent this note obviously wants me to come poking around, and I am to find out why. There's something strange in Sacramento. The dreams, the stare, the spirit, it's all connected. I'm sure of it. Whatever darkness has settled in our neck of the woods, I'm putting a stop to it. Mom, Dad, I love you both so much. I'll get to the bottom of this. Thanks for letting me doze off. I promise I'll come back real soon. Thank you for stopping uh, in. Take care. I don't trust you. Why Why you got the anime glowy eyes going on? The warm glow of the bookstore fades behind me as I step out in the dusk. Sacramento, this should be my hometown, but it's become unrecognizable. The streets are overrun with dense foliage and missing person posters that litter every surface. They call this missing person lane now. Desperate searchers put up posters here before vanishing themselves. It's the only path left and leads straight to my Graham's house, but something feels off. The familiar landmarks of my childhood are nowhere to be found. What is, what is this? Why is this looking all weird over here? Have I gotten turned around? No, I've walked in a straight line, yet nothing looks right. 
Stay calm. I pick a direction and jog, searching for anything familiar. Nothing changes. I double back, check walls, and address is still lost. But maybe if I check the note from my parents for the address. Uh, what? A grocery receipt? Impossible. I just had their letter. I even kept my pockets empty so I wouldn't lose it. Wait. This receipt has the exact dimension and folds as the letter. Could I have imagined the whole letter? No, impossible. I check the back and then double check the front, but the receipt remains just that. Something is very wrong. I have to get out, have to run, have to... Hey, ow! Uh, are you, like, blind or something? Maybe. Why are we even going, Klotorama? I slammed right into somebody coming the other way. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you alright? I should have been more careful. Whoa, she's really pretty. But what on earth is this girl doing wandering around Sacramento at night? Don't... Touch me. I didn't plan on it. Sorry, I didn't mean to smack at you like that. I know it's not an excuse, but I was just in a rush. Oh, yeah, I know. You gotta go run off and steal my breath, oh, what? Friend, right? Yeah, it's whatever. Totally Who? Cool. Save your breath. I already know how this goes. Who, who's your boyfriend? Wait, huh? What? Your boyfriend? Yeah. You heard me. My boyfriend. Buck is. Who my is Buck? And is he here to... I'm not going to finish that sentence, actually. Who the heck is Buck? Where's all these accusations coming from? I don't know anyone named Buck. Huh? Really? You don't know who Buck is? Why do your eyes look like that? You're not, like, from out of town. No, 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 no. I grew up here. The stare. It's real. I turn my head down and briskly walk past her. She starts walking alongside me. No. I can't let her see my eyes, no matter what. She'll notice I don't have the Sacramento stare. You can tell me. <laughs> Are you from here, or what? I live here? Oh, yeah? Look at me really quick. Uh, no. This is bad. Even if I make it home, she'll know where I live. What do I do? <laughs> oh, Jesus! Ugh! No! I freeze before I know it. I'm already staring straight at her. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. I don't like that little laugh at all. Bucky, hi. Bucky. Another one for you at Missing Person Lane. What? Another? W wait a minute. Hold up. I break into a mad dash, running my hardest. Everything is a blur. My heart pounding to my ears can't dole out the sound of whistles, shouts, and unidentifiable commotion coming from all sides. Panting and dizzy, I feel my body slowing down, but the image of my face on the next missing posters kicked my legs into action once more. There, a clearing up ahead. I can break their line of sight. I might find a chance to hide. As I near the turnoff, my exhaustion makes itself known. If this is a dead end or it's too dark to find my way, I won't have the energy to turn around and start running again. Right out of the corner, I gasp. It's Grandma's house, thank goodness. I dash up the path and burst through the door. What is going on in this town? Why is Grandma's house off Missing Persons Lane? I hold the door shut for what feels like forever as my pulse slows. The pounding footsteps pass by outside. I'm safe, for now. <sighs> hey, what's... I may just be standing at the entrance, but I can already tell something feels off about my house. Like, the warm, familiar place I grew up in is long gone. I can't put my finger on it, but... This dread. Why do I feel like I need to sneak around my own home? Is someone here? Hello? No response. Oh. Oh, cool! I got a lovely map. Do I go straight there or look around? Uh, what's this? Butterfly caught in a web. Strange. Don't see a spider anywhere. <clears throat> Wonder how long the poor thing's been trapped. Can I, can I get the spider? Can I help the spider? Alright, let's uh, turn around. Oh, wait, inspect. Huh, that's odd. There seems to be way more shoes here than I expect for just me and my nine siblings. At least 20 pairs by my count. Nine siblings? What? Uh, how do we do this? Oh, I fully just rotate around. That's really cool. All right, into the abyss we go. 
Oh, my bad. I, I faced the wrong way. This is the way forward. Oh, there we go. I got a slide. Ah. What is that? Huh? Our family photo looks off. None of them have me in it, and my siblings, their faces seem unfamiliar. What are those weird symbols doing here? Okay, so that's where I came from, right? Well, we got a little, like, family shrine area. Okay. it's a lot of crap. Uh, oh, let's go this way. What is that? What's that creepy noise? Why is there blood everywhere? Are, are we going to talk about this dining? What is going on in the dining room? Fresh, dripping meat. I should avoid counting the number of legs. Are we going to talk about the bodies? Those are bodies. Oh, that's... Ooh, that's... Was that blood bowl? Blood in the bowl is an odd color. I'm a bit relieved. It's probably not human blood, but... Then what in all of these bags? Uh... I don't... I don't know about this. In the kitchen. Oh, I got spices. I'm usually put in spices, pepper, nutmeg, ginger, and cinnamon. Damn, a couple I see. The air is almost suffocatingly thick with their scent. What is that blood? Looks like coconut, except it's in a gallon container and it smells like burnt hair and sulfur. Color is black. It's soot, too. You know what? Maybe, maybe we should just go go to the room it told me to. Maybe I'll, I'll listen. I'll be a good kid. Uh, There's my bedroom. What is the tree in my room? My room, what on earth happened here? This occult nonsense has someone been living in my house? The candles are still lit. Who's ever responsible was just here, but who, why? Uh oh. This book isn't mine either. No title, no author, and it reeks of death and decay. With trembling fingers, I open it to a random page. Seed the Blackwoods, instructions on how to corrupt the soil of a forest by using remains of a goat and the beating heart of a human? The beating what? I read and reread the passage, but it's plain as black and white. The beating heart of a human. I reread again and again, my disbelief washing away more and more each time. This isn't a joke. First the stare, the only locals have, then the disappearances, then the supernaturally overgrown woods, and now this? The truth da dawns on me. Sacramento has been overrun by cultists. All those missing people, my parents, they haven't been spirited away by angry forest spirits. They've been abducted, and I'm next. There must be a way to stop this. I flip desperately through the book's pulsating pages, searching for anything that might help. Summon the All-Mother, a ritual to force the dark deity behind this madness to physically manifest before me, binding her in a form that can't directly harm me. Oh, big brain. This is it, my chance to end this nightmare once and for all, to face the sinister goddess behind Sacramento's madness and put a stop to her evil, whatever the cost. For the sake of everyone who suffered and died, I have to try. I'll bind this all-mother to a physical form and destroy her. Looks like I already have everything I need to try. Do I? What do I need? Uh, douse any lit candles. Dark goat present somewhere in the room. Have a plant mister with you. Facing a tree, the black woods chant her name. Do, do I have a mister? Where, where do I get a mister? Uh, oh. Okay, I got a plant mister. Okay. Uh, this guy comes up here and you can spray the speaker with water by right clicking. This will interrupt whatever they're doing or saying. This feature is primarily included in consideration of players who dislike being hit on by older women, eldritch abominations, but it has other uses too. Nah, no mommy can hit on me. Snuff you out. Uh, plant mister while facing a tree in the black wood. Roxanne Selva Scura. Oh, hello! Hi! Have your lust not been sated? Must you continue to torment your goddess so? I, I mean, I'm not here to torment you, I'm here to talk. The harpy pounds as an immense towering figure materializes before me. My head is splitting open. I can't think, can barely breathe with this weight crushing down on me. Do you have any idea who I am? I'm Roxanne, the black goat of the woods. You will rue this day. 
madness given form shredding my sanity with each second that passes its evil ancient and endless period into the deepest parts of me that were never meant to be seen dangerous ground little lamb little lamb you know that each time you summon me my wrath grows promise you promise you promise i will make you through each second of agony you have inflicted uh-huh now choose your next words carefully what more could you possibly want of me? Speak! Uh, I have to banish her, to send her back before there's nothing left of me, but the words I need won't come. Did I really think I could face a power like this? Stupid, stupid girl! With the last shreds of my will, I cling to the thought of why I came, why I dared this folly. I swallow bile and terror, straighten my spine, grab a candle from the floor, and speak shakily. I'm here to stop you from hurting another soul. I'm sending you back to the darkness you crawled out of one way or another. Ooh. Oh. You got a... Uh, you got some, uh... You got some assets there that, uh... Are assetting very well. Uh, yeah? Oh, thank goodness. I thought this nightmare would never Excuse end. Me? What? Uh, are you supposed to be, like, trying to stop me or something? No, I'm into this. Get me You're out into here. this. She's into this, you say. My brow furrows as I stare at her wordlessly. Isn't she supposed to want to, you know, spread madness and whatnot? You're confused. Very, very much so. Well, yeah, you want to be exercised. Banished. <sighs> yes. I'm rooted to your planet and cannot be removed without a human's aid. Okay. I don't understand. You have so many followers. Followers that just tried to kill me, I might add. Can't they free you instead? Things have gotten messy with my cultists. Uh-huh. Messy in a bad way, I mean. Uh, obviously. Very messy. My followers have turned against me. Oh. And are abusing me and my woods' power to kill outsiders indiscriminately. Oh, you didn't want that. Have pity on Weird. this old, tired goat and banish me old, so I can't kill humanity any longer. Please, help me. Ah! I rub my temple. This is tricky. On the one hand, I came here to banish her. This corrupted force is devouring this town, and who knows how many or how much further it'll spread if nothing's done. On the other hand, I have serious reservations about helping an eldritch god do anything. All those missing people posters, she's responsible. She and her cult are pure evil, but for now, we want the same thing. Her gone. All right, tell me how to do this. Do I just grab any old knife and... Your mortal weapons can harm me, child. But they cannot stop me. Uh-huh. But that book you carry, it holds the key to my banishment. Uh -huh. Perform the rituals in order until you arrive at the uprooting ritual. That one will banish me for good. Oh! Oh, that's, that's easy. First things first. You will need a partner. A partner. I am a goddess of lust. So, many of your rituals will require you to be in the presence of your ideal mate, your heart's desire. Huh. Perform the spawn partner ritual on the next page. Okay. That's... fair. Like the ritual candles, the color of the flame does not matter, so please choose a color you find comforting. Okay. Ooh, yeah, red for sure. Favorite color, baby. Uh, have your choice of an aromatic herb on your person. Pick a scent you find pleasant. Oh. Mint. Lavender. Mint. I love smell of mint. Mint is great. Alright. Imagine your ideal partner. If it, if it exists, it will appear before you in a cloud of smoke. If it does not exist, it will be created. Do not imagine something you can't put back. Okay. Tharnak Yabba. Oh, uh, hello, uh, welcome back, mommy. I mean, uh, Roxanne. I'm. Yeah, how's it going? Oh hello, what's good, baby? Wait, I can explain. Go ahead. Okay, maybe I can't explain. Don't. I didn't expect you to actually put me on the spot like that so calmly. I've got nothing. What is wrong with my taste? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. There's no need to be bashful, especially after all that time you spent playing. Oh, whoa, 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 Roxanne. In view of the circumstances, perhaps 
I will allow you to be my partner. Oh, oh, this is a great turn for us. Really? And that's okay with you, even though we just met? Well, it's sudden, and it'll be a long, long time before I could ever trust a human again. Uh-huh. But I'm not exactly the god of... Uh oh, you don't say. Besides, I already have a thousand children. Ma'am. There's no harm in a thousand and one. How many? Ah! Uh... Wait, what are we talking about? Taking me as your partner? I thought you were talking about just being my girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, it's girlfriend is not really platonic. Unless it's like, you know. No, I'm not going to get into it. Yeah, yeah. There's three millions of partners. What's the third? Cowboys. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Are you still joking around while standing so close to me? Uh -huh. You should be melting with desire. Maybe. Being anywhere within a mile of me should amplify your lust a thousandfold. Uh. I'm, I'm chilling. Oh, that's the easy one. A thousand times zero is zero. Wait. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yep. So, I take it you haven't had children yet? Nope. And you you aren't with child now? Uh, no. You're going to die here, and there's nothing I can do to help. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Backtrack, backtrack. I thought we were trying to get you out of here. You're just not going to help me because I don't have kids? It's not that I won't. It's that I can't. I am an entity with huh? untapped cosmic potential. And I want a big family. Uh, the biggest family possible. You have a thousand. I want every living thing on Earth to be a direct descendant of me or one of my followers. Those that best uh -huh. serve that goal receive a fraction of Ooh, my power. Power, you say? My most devoted followers are bestowed with gifts like extended lifespans. Rapid healing, physical enhancement, huh. and in some cases, immortality. And those followers are the ones looking for you. Oh, that's that's not well for me. You, on the other hand, have closed yourself off to my dark influence and are mortal and vulnerable. No kids, no powers. Okay, what if, what if you know we make a baby? You know, just say just an idea. What if I don't want powers or kids? What if I took the life from your body and then used it to fertilize my wicked soil until something that will give me grandchildren comes crawling out? I take an involuntary step backwards. Uh, I'm sorry. Ha 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 ha. I didn't deserve that. Are you alright? Uh huh. Yeah, pretty goat lady. I'm I'm good. I'm Gucci. I'm fine. Don't worry about me, powers or not. Let's move on to the next ritual so we can get out of here, okay? Mm. Holy moly, that was freaking scary and hot. She's really taking this hard. I'd better go get the stuff for the next ritual. Uh, Ep Epicurean feast. <coughs> Meat from a living thing. Milk of the black goat. Oh. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so down to the kitchen we go. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her. Can I talk to her? So these followers are kind of like jealous ex-boyfriends then. You want nothing to do with them, but they won't let you leave. Actually, yes. That's precisely Okay. Right. They're like my exes. And using the same metaphor, if you try to date me, then my exes will hack you to death with farm tools. Alrighty then. I... Guess that last part wasn't amazing. Rude! Maybe I should get back to the ritual then. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you enjoy my bed. Alright, so... Hunk of flesh. Yep. Off the hook, this should be what I'm looking for. It smells kind of strange. This beef, pork, whatever it came from, it was huge. I should move on before I count the number of legs hanging on hooks. Uh, blood. I should go fill it to the brim with liquid life blood. Not selling them out of it. This is what the ritual calls for. And last thing for the kitchen, right? Which I think is you. 
Looks like cooking up some gallon container. Uh, store about two percent is perfectly fine. This is the milk of the black goat. It's just like a garden of store bought strawberry milk with a label slapped on it. I guess the cultists would have a hard time getting the real thing from Roxanne. Uh, their relationship has soured, no pun intended. This should be a good enough. A chill just ran up my spine. Am I being watched? Everything I need, I need to get out of here fast. Am I being watched? Back to the bedroom we go. Quickly. Post haste. Go, 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 go. Roxanne, I got the things. How do I do this? Uh, meat from a living thing that died within the black woods. I think it's everything, yeah. Uh, chant while facing a red fire candle. Already got the red fire up. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, red. here we go. Ahara, yes, Oh, well done. Ooh. Looks like you did everything perfectly. Thank you. I'm quite impressed with myself. I do. I do try. Nothing to. T uh, nothing to it. If all the rituals are this easy, I'll have you out of here in no time. Perhaps so. I. Um. I don't want to leave things as they are between us. Your life is your own. I'm sorry for losing my composure. Oh, that I nearly forgot about that already. I'm a little surprised a little a literal god would bother apologizing to a human at all. I've given it some thought. And while you may be blasphemously <laughs> absent, you're the only person in the world that can help me. You see, uh -huh. if you step within range of my woods, any desire you have that will lead you closer to me is huh. amplified to such an intense degree that it's unbearable. And most of the time, it's lust. Okay, go on. Anyone who is led here seeking carnal or animalistic pleasures develops the sacramento state oh. and becomes a cultist. If you are brought into my woods for any other reason, you don't become one of my chosen uh -huh. thousand, and your desire will make you futilely search the woods for what isn't there. Oh. You'll forget to eat and sleep, and you'll search and search until you die of exhaustion and become fertilizer for the woods to grow further. Wow, okay. You're the only person to reach me without joining the cult or dropping dead. Hell yeah. Thanks in no small part to the fact that you don't have lust to amplify. My only I mean, question I do, is, but... if you're not here for lust, why are you here? Pull the receipt out of my pocket. I came looking for my parents. They vanished somewhere around here a year ago. This used to be a letter from them saying they were here in this house. But once I got here, it turned into a blank receipt and won't turn back. The woods have indeed toyed with your emotions to bring you here. That paper was likely not oh, a letter from Oh, yeah, it checks out. But the woods made you believe it was. I'm it's sorry. all good, Roxanne. It's all good, baby. So they're just still gone. They were likely consumed by my woods no more than three days after they disappeared. Okay. I feel like I've been punched in the gut. The dust has long settled with my parents being gone, but the grief never faded. Eat. It'll give you your strength back. The woods won't let you feel how tired you are. Okay, whatever you say, I don't feel tired at all, but come to think of it, I felt like I was going to collapse when I made it to this house. I don't think I've eaten since I got the letter either. I take a few bites and the, t and the tears abate. There, there. It'll be alright, Stardust. How do you know that? Stardust? How did you know my parents' nickname for me? Anything that dies within my black woods becomes a part of it. A part of me. Their memories of you likely live on in me. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Big brain. I guess that settles it. My parents really are gone. That's the only way she could know that name. This isn't the kind of closure I was hoping I'd find here, and I came here to put an end to the disappearances, and that's what I'll do. Um, I hope this isn't an offensive question, but all the missing people and the people that came looking for them, you, you killed them all? It was never supposed to be like this. I came bearing gifts of safe childbirth for infant and mother, hungerlessness, disease immunity. Sounds pretty good. But instead, my own worshippers tormented me until it broke my hearts. Now my woods are bloodthirsty, and I'm forced to watch innumerable Can die. Can we fix it? But why? How could somebody do something like that? How could somebody have so much hate in their hearts? Because it's had an eternity to accumulate. Yeah, yeah, people kind of suck. 
What was that? It sounded like something breaking downstairs. Are they coming? Already? No, 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 no. They better not be. I forgot. Roxanne's just as scared as I am. I need to be more careful with showing fear for her sake. It could just be the house. The place is old and rotten in some places, so sometimes the house shifts on its own. Take a quick look around my room for the sturdiest thing I could find. They left my bass guitar untouched. I'll check it out. Sound like it came from the kitchen. Yeah, baby. Swing the bass guitar. Let's... Whoo! <laughs> I'm coming to the kitchen, baby. Get ready to get walloped. You better watch out, you better not shout, better not cry, I'm telling you, uh, I'm coming to bash you with a base. Nobody's here. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Could have just been the house settling, like I said. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Them reflexes, girl! You don't want it! You don't want the smoke! I think that hit knocked them out cold. That made me so much noise I can't afford to stick around, but I don't feel good about letting this maniac wake up and ambush me again. I'll tie them up somewhere. I can keep my eye on them. Why is that knife covered in blood? I can't for the life of me find a wound anywhere on my body, and I certainly don't feel any pain either. I grab a hold of the scruff of the cultist collar and drag them a short distance. They feel unusually light to carry, but my light left arm can't produce any force. What's going on with... Oh, that's not good. What was that? That vision. No matter how much I focus, I can't bring it back. Just like the fake letter I received. Are the woods concealing my injuries from me so I can tell when I'm about to drop dead? I sling my base over my shoulder by its strap and drag the cultist with my right arm alone. I'm sure this uh, would be torture if I could feel pain or exhaustion. Uh, where did I... Where am I tying her up? Okay. Go, go, go before someone else shows up. Roxanne, we're good! I'm back! Welcome back. What is that? <laughs> uh, bass guitar. Not that. The dead body. Oh, they're alive, actually. You took one of the thousand alive? And then brought them here? Uh, yeah. This is... Very good, actually. Now you have a blood sacrifice if you need one. Wait a minute. What did you say? Some of these rituals require blood or human participants. Uh -huh. Having someone knocked out and served to you on a silver platter makes things much easier. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel that, Roxanne. I didn't drag them up the stairs so they could be a sacrifice. I tie their wrists together behind a load-bearing post in my room. Now, I'm an outer god, uh -huh. so my moral code is completely different from that of humans. But didn't they just try to kill you? Irrelevant. Maybe. But under that mask, this could be someone else who went missing. I could never put someone through what I felt my parents didn't come back from. The mask is snug against Colt's face, but with a firm yank. Ah! Her! Nanny! Oh, is that her name? Uh. You? Oh, you're that klutz from Missing Person Lane. Maybe. <laughs> you worthless lamb. We'll kill you. You'll never escape. Sheesh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I bonked you on the head a little too hard. It's not that. She has the stare. Her lust for the leader of the thousand, Buck. Oh has been amplified a thousandfold into blind fanaticism. Okay. Uh, you done there? Hey, don't try to wiggle out of that. I don't want to have to hurt you. I just need to make sure you couldn't attack me again. You think you can steal my book, bash me over the head with a guitar, tie me up, and get away with it? Oh, you're so Promise? <laughs> what did you expect to thank you? <sighs> She's long uh, gone. That's fine. It's pointless trying to talk to her. If you're insisting on keeping her alive, 
Just do us both a favor and keep an eye on her. If you have to look away, don't turn your back on her for too oh, long. Oh, great. Great. Can I just kill her, please? Like, I feel like it's easier. I do insist on keeping her alive. If she has the stare, that she didn't choose this. She's just another innocent person who got tricked into coming here. Hey, if you just stay put for now, then I can just let you go after I'm done here, okay? Drop dead. As you wish. I sigh and return her mask to her. First things first, I need to do something about my arm. Uh, do I got a rag in here? I think. Uh. Oh, to heal injuries, place a goat skull over your face and light green fire candles. I need to borrow that, sorry. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, what color candles? Uh, like green fire. Green. Keep looking at her. The intended target isn't the caster and isn't deceased. Draw this symbol instead. Make sure the symbol is drawn your wife is here. Cool, cool, cool. Mirror, mirror. Do I not have a mirror in here? Oh, that sucks. Alright, let me... Wait, everything I need is already in this room. What? Where's a mirror? It's a base. Statue. I don't see a mirror. Am I blind? Do y'all see a mirror anywhere? Oh, I'm stupid. That whole thing's a mirror. I went through that whole thing. Alright, that should do it. I'm stuck on but I still can't tell whether I'm in pain or not. I can only hope I'm not still bleeding out. That about handles my injuries. Hey, um... What? Your name is Nanny, right? I'm gonna give you your mask back so that you can do the ritual too. Bet that lump aches, huh? What? The one you gave to me? That's irrelevant. I didn't mean to hurt you, I swear. You came at me. I was just defending myself. Look, you're hurt. Let me help patch you up, and we'll call it even deal. Like, barf me out. Oh, you're such a little bitch. Here, now chant bottom of the page. I know how to do it. Or not. Better? This is going to come back to bite you. Just wait until I break free. Then, you're toast for real. I don't care. Clearly, I'm stupid. Alright, what's the... Rot Bloom? Which was required to safely approach the heart. Yick. What a gruesome looking ritual. What's wrong? I didn't even read it to tell you. N nothing, just getting the creepy crawlies from this one. It looks like I've got to eat a bunch of stuff in order to make... The seed, made immortal by my influence. Uh-huh. When you die, the seed will bloom. Leaving something good in the world long after you've passed away. Oh! That's kind of beautiful, actually. Really? You think so? Yeah, it sounds pretty beautiful. Yeah. I do. Well, I don't like thinking about dying. It's kind of comforting thinking a part of me will live on, you know? Well, the same can oh. be said about having children. They carry on your legacy long after you die, too. Go on. And if you have a bunch of children, it's like living forever. Doesn't that sound nice, too? Hmm? I'm, I'm convinced. Personally, I'm sold. You got me, mommy. Sheesh, all this grandkids talk. You're just like my mom. Oh. I can work with that. I was not ready for that one. Roxanne! Kidding, kidding. I was only 60% serious. What's 100% serious look like? That's still more than half serious. But, then again, living forever is something best done through offspring. Experiencing mm -hmm. it yourself. You mean like what you did to my Bucky? Uh, what? He brought that upon himself. You cursed him. He was your most devout follower, and you cursed him. I don't think that's how that works. Wait, cursed. One of my followers, the leader of the thousand, stole a kiss from me long ago and became... Oh, uh, okay. No matter what happens, he will still exist. Forever. What if we, like, cast him into a volcano? How is that a curse? I could use immortality right about now. Wouldn't it be nice to live forever? No. Um, okay. Um, 
I mean, immortality is certainly not living forever. The pain you feel after fatal wounds becomes permanent, lifelong oh. agony. For instance, if a human drowns, they feel indescribable fear and pain for seconds, maybe minutes at worst, and then are swept away by the mercy of death. Uh -huh. An immortal human would continue to drown, thrashing and screaming soundlessly, until hope came, if it came. Ooh. So, for a mortal human to be cursed with cosmic permanence, immortality is terror beyond death. Buck realized this. And is tormenting me until I take it I back. I mean, it sounds like Buck's fault, honestly. How come you don't just take it back then? Wouldn't they let you go if you did? If cosmic permanence was something that could be undone, it wouldn't be permanent, would it? That's fair. When Bucky finds you, when he gets his hands on you, Buck is already here. Oh, what? A voice from the other side of my bedroom door. I didn't even hear him coming. Get the base, get the base, get the base. Buck, they're here. Hello in there. It would appear that you uh -huh. have look, my nanny, and my god inside that room with you. And? The good news is, you're holding all of the cards. As long as nanny is unharmed. Hey, I healed the bitch for you. She, she's fine. I just tied her up. Is that so? Then it looks like we can make a deal. Uh -huh. You let us in? We'll take Nanny and go. Uh huh. What? No way! Once the door is open, I'm going missing for sure. <laughs> Do you realize the situation you're in? A little bit, a little bit. We can storm in and take the book, the girl, and the god by force. Why didn't you just begin with that then? Then how come you haven't done it already? You might get a lucky shot on one of us before you die. Like I assume you did, Nanny. And if the injury was serious, we'd be stuck for the next who knows how many years with it. Sounds like All you're scared. Too much risk over you. Sounds like you're scared. Nobody here has any reason to want you dead. Right, and so you'll just let me waltz on out of here. We get dozens of people trapped in our woods every week. It means nothing to us if you escape. Uh, um, even if I go straight to the police and tell them everything? <laughs> the police are already here. Oh, that's not good. That's not good for me at all. Open the door, and you can keep Roxanne and the book. And if you don't, you know what will happen. Huh. You have 20 seconds to make your choice. Okay. Hallway, no. I'm just not gonna open the door. Seems like the best option to me. I wanna see if they actually do anything. Come on in! Let's go! Let's dance! Huh! Huh! You'll hit the book! They just started shooting the fucking wall! What a-holes! I quickly leap back from the door, awaiting the onslaught of cultists, but instead I hear footsteps retreating. Stardust! Are you alright? Uh, probably not! I'm probably probably shot! Pat myself down quickly. If I got hit, it wasn't enough to make me lose consciousness. That'll have to do. What kids? Why are they running away? Did I do something to scare them off? They know you have to leave this room eventually. So they're waiting to ambush you. Ah, uh, of course they are. Don't let your guard down. They could be anywhere. Of course, of course. All right, what is this one? Oh, great. I gotta get the bathroom? Uh, effects are not reversible even in death. Find and consume the following in order. The pot of a plant with, which grew underwater with the black woods. Okay. Bathroom we go. Wait, wait, do I, do I have the base? Get the base. I, whatever. We're going, I guess. Go, go, go. Okay, bathroom. Quickly, go, go, go. I think we're clear. Eat. Found one. I think that's the plant, so it probably counts. My vast ceramic. I think nothing a plant could grow on, so I can only imagine what the plants are actually growing out of under the murky water. The leathery seedling tears off with little resistance. I try to chew it, but it's hard as a rock. Something is off about the taste, too. Managed to force it down, whatever it was. I don't think it was poisonous, but I feel kind of sick now. Better get to move on. Okay, next. 
Uh, raw meat of an animal that died within the black woods. Okay. So the meat on the wall. Go. Go, 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 go. And left. Go, go, left. Go, 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 go. Quickly, quickly. Don't go in. Can I go in there and beat him? Oh, so I just die. Okay. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, let's get back there. If I see them, I can't go in there. Uh huh. Cool, cool, cool. It looks like I'm supposed to eat it raw this time. Yuck. I tear off a dripping morsel of the strange meat, pinch my nose shut, and imagine it's beef tartare as I force it down. It leaves a metally aftertaste in my mouth, and it feels like something didn't go down quite right. I feel very sick all of a sudden. My stomach immensely starts to churn. I need to get out of here. Huh? It's an incredible smell. A rich, warm scent clouds my senses, settling my stomach almost instantly. I follow my nose. It leads back to the meat. Could it really be? Did I just get a bad first piece or something? I hesitate to take another bite, and a wave of satisfaction washes over me, and my appetite kicks in overdrive. I've never tasted anything like it. I eat a third piece, then a fourth, then a fifth. It's like I've gone my whole life without eating until now. The second supreme bites feel like an eternity of withdrawal. Eventually, my hunger abates, but only after I shift it clean to the marrow. I need to get one last ingredient. It's the petal of a flower that grew in the black woods. I walk away, gnawing idly on the bone. Okay, so I'm changing. Uh, okay, so something's upstairs, right? Let's go to mom and dad's room, I guess. Go, go, go. <gasps> oh, you bitch! Alright, what's... Uh... Okay, that's the room I'm supposed to go in. What am I supposed to do about that? It's blocked the other side by something purple I can't see clearly. Huh. Maybe I can sneak up on the perverts? Maybe. Yep. Eat. This is the plants around, but none are as rain as the one. This must be a flower growing directly from the black wood soil. This is the last thing I need to eat before I can complete the ritual. I pluck a petal quietly and toss it in my mouth. It tastes sweet like honey. It leaves a numbing, unfamiliar sensation on my tongue, as if I'm tasting the very nature of the black woods. Suddenly, a sharp, bitter taste seizes me, and the sweetness vanishes. I try to spit out the petal, but I can't move. All I can do is look back at the flower and see how it and the surrounding plants are all seem to be growing, all in the same direction towards me. The horror. My heart begins beating again, and my consciousness returns suddenly. I'm curled up on the ground in the corner of the room. My face is wet with tears, and I feel like several hours have passed. The flower is gone. Nothing remains of it but my vague memory and an inexplicable sense of dread. Cool. You guys are still looking at boobs. Children. Go. Now what do we do? Go back to the room? Yeah, go back to the room. Go, go, go. Go inside. Safety! You still in the corner? You're dead. I just realized you are dead. Uh, the petal of the flower. Continue on next page. I'm sure, there are no lit candles in the room with you. Face any plant in the room with your spawn partner present. Okay, okay. Snuff, and I guess face that because that's a plant. Uh, Well done. We're so close. I can taste it. Oh yeah, Roxanne. This feeling of hope welling in my chest. So unfamiliar. Glad to give you a feeling in your chest. I'd hate to disappoint you, but we're tapped or trapped in a pretty terrible situation. I'm not sure if escape is realistic at the point. I have no idea how many of them there are, and I know they're armed. I can't safely get out of this room anymore. The chances are that I'm going to walk into one of their traps eventually, even if I'm on guard every minute of every ritual left. We may yet make it out of this. Yeah? How do you think? I know what ritual is next. As long as Nanny stays down, this will be easy. Okay. You know how I mentioned that we'll be in need of a sacrifice. The time is okay. coming. Okay. Sacrifice? Who? Nanny? Isn't she? She is still alive. Normally, one or two fatal injuries wouldn't be enough to kill her since she's one of the oh. thousand. But, oddly enough, she's slipping away. So she's gonna die anyway. We'll have to work quickly. Cold blood can't be used as a sacrifice. Oh, she'll be sacrificed after all that's happened to her? I can't just leave her like this, right? Uh, what? Isn't 
next ritual. Summon firstborns. The ritual will call upon any and all firstborns within the Black Woods to gather a prodigious amount of fresh blood. Vi uh, vital for many rituals, including uprooting. If you are death shy, follow these steps to avoid being targeted. After if you're death shy. After changing to immediately leave the room. Okay. So they gotta face her. Come on. Okay, get it, get it, get it. Uh, do not return early. Nowhere within the Black Woods is safe except for the heart of the woods. The hearts will hide your scent from them. To avoid firstborns on your way, avoid making eye contact. They will know if you saw them. Move quickly. Do not run. You will attract their attention. Be observant. Do not look at the next page until you have reached the hearts. Can I go back in? <gasps> oh! Okay, I shouldn't have gone back in. Okay, I guess we gotta go, right? Like, according to the book, we gotta go. We gotta go to the hearts. So imagine we gotta go into the woods, right? Right? How do I... What do I do next? Go. Oh! The hearts are in the house already. Okay. Makes my life easy. Into the cellar. Into the cellar. Okay, go. Okay. Uh, do not look at the next page until you have reached the hearts. I'm at the hearts. Wait for the candles to go out. Do not leave the heart of the woods until the candles go out on their own, no matter what you see or hear. Once the candles go out, leave immediately. Return to the room where the ritual began. Find what they left for you and chant three times to the end of the ritual. Okay, so I got a. Wait for the candles to go out, I guess. Go, go, go. Candles went out. Candles went out. Alright. What'd you leave for me in the room? Oh! Ah! What is that? Got it. But what exactly is it? I open the sack. The contents are dark red liquid thickly mixed with another dark fluid. It smells kind of like fresh wine. Close the sack up, ignoring the sight of two bright red fingers floating on top. No time to recover from all this excitement. I've got to end this ritual. Okay. Roxanne? We, we good? Oh, I have to say it three times. How wonderful. I'm dumb. With all of this fresh blood, we're as good as home free. Uh huh. Soon I will finally leave Sacramento behind. Hopefully, wherever you spend the remainder of your reality will be greener pastures as well. Thank you, Roxanne. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean, remainder of my reality? I know it's a lot to take in, but because I'm an outer god. Everything in this reality is mine. Oh, this again. Including you. Sometime after I'm uprooted, I will wake up, and this reality will end. Oh, that's not good. Nah, I'm no better or worse than any other human. <sighs> yes. And I'm part of this dream, meaning I'll probably vanish too. Most likely. So that makes me your dream girl, technically. Well, that's one takeaway from the existential atom bomb I just dropped on you. But yes, I suppose so. You're welcome for that great pickup line. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hoi mas... Oi, what the... What? Cool. <laughs> cool indeed. But it's about to get very, very hot. Uprooting me will cause the entire Black Woods to burn oh. down. So you'll need to run. If the woods were able to lure you in all the way from wherever you were living, it means its roots have grown that far. That will burn, too. That's a lot of space. Just how far am I supposed to be running? I would say 60 miles, just to be I can't safe. run that far. I need a car. I need a car. 
Doing this is going to burn everything down within 60 miles. It's a small price to pay to excise the woods from your planet. Left unchecked, they will envelop the whole Earth, turning every human into either a cultist or fertilizer. No, that's not good. Just think of it like a widespread forest fire. And not even the worst one you've seen. That's fair, Humanity that's has fair. Dealt with far larger wildfires before. Your towns will heal. Yeah, so I just gotta run for it once the fire starts? Don't stop running. And leave the book behind to burn. If the Thousand ever recovered it, they could seed the Blackwoods oh. again. And this will all have been for nothing. But what if they save the book before it burns to ash? I think I'll stay to watch it burn. If the Blackwoods come back, people will die. I probably wouldn't be able to pull this off twice. Whatever time this world has left, I'll happily risk my life for it. But everything you went through, it wouldn't have been for us. It'd have been for me. Can't let you do that after the things I've said, the things I've done to you personally. You didn't do anything wrong. You didn't deserve any of this. If it helps, I'm not rolling over and dying. I'm going to run my heart as soon as I'm sure the book is destroyed and you're safe. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. I've got got to finish this last ritual. Oh, I gotta go to the kitchen again. Oh, and the bathroom. What's the last ritual? Uproot heartburn. If your relationship with Roxanne Selva Oscura has soured, or you no longer wish to have the earth consumed by the Black Woods, this ritual is the only way to rid your reality of them for now. This ritual will cause the Black Woods to burn to ash, and the hearts will return to their dormant state. This will allow you to escape from the Black Woods, but be warned, you can never meaningfully leave the Black Woods once you've entered them. Have all the following on your person, the blood of at least ten human-sized living things, the seed of rot bloom within you, a common flame accelerant like flour, cinnamon, cooking oil, nail polish remover, or hairspray. Cinnamon's a flame accelerant? Go to the heart of the woods while facing a heart chant. Alrighty. Let's do this, I guess. Hairspray. This could start a good fire. Alright. To, uh, to end this. Alright. Alright. Let's end this. You, you actually, actually did, it. did it. You really actually did it. And so the Blackwoods have been destroyed. May something green and good grow from its ashes. I am so, so proud of you. I can't thank you enough. It's ironic, isn't it? The day I get my wish of never having to see a human again. It's the same day I finally meet one worth knowing. Aww, Roxanne. There she goes. It's like an oven in here already. I hear frantic commotion. They must be coming. Huh? The book is blackening in my hand. I must... It must... Or I must be engulfed in fire. The black woods, even at the bitter end, must be preventing me from feeling the flames. As long as I'm sure the book burns to the very last page, this is fine. Looks like that's it. If I'm still in one piece, I can run for the door. How am I going to know when this burns? I'm... I gotta wait. <gasps> Hi, Buck! What's up? Did something scary happen? What? Huh? huh? Sit tight. No! Another episode of Sucker for Love, Date to Die For is coming up. Ugh, I can't believe I wasn't able to get the stupid book back. <laughs> Guess I've got to get involved now. The book is mine. Next time Whoa. on Sucker for Love, House of Wax. I can't wait. Was that all a premonition? Oh, you son of a... Okay, so that was chapter one for Sucker for Love, A Date to Die For. That was a lot of freaking fun, and I really enjoyed that. I hope you guys did as well. Um, that was a really fun chapter, a really great game so far. Uh, I'm going to leave it here, though. I'm not going to play all the parts in one. 
because I've already been recording for an hour. That was great. I love the story. I love the voice acting. The artwork is beautiful. I hope you guys are enjoying my little voiceover, me talking, my commentary, and I hope you guys stick around for the next chapter. With that being said, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely day.